No bill or motion has elicited such a passionate debate on the floor of the House as the motion on religious studies in schools. The motion was sponsored by Honorable Benny La from Plato State. As she noted the recent alteration of schools curriculum by the Federal Ministry of Education against the constitutional provision which clearly states that Nigeria being a secular state guarantees freedom of practice of any religion without force or molestation. Mr. Speaker, lumping the teaching of both religions and making it compulsory for students who are as young as six, seven, eight years old to learn it right to, up to um, secondary school will confuse our children. We'll have children who could be Christians. Other lawmakers supporting the motion argue that the sensitive nature of the subject matter must be taken into consideration in addressing the issue and agree that the policy is totally in contradiction with the position of the Constitution on freedom to practice any religion of one's choice. They say forcing students or pupils to study both religious subjects side by side will only lead to confusing them more, since most have had early teachings of their various religious beliefs from their parents and guardians. It is a, a wake-up call. Mr. Speaker, it's a wake-up call because for once, we should be mindful of the impute that goes into the mindset of our children. Mr. Speaker, you know that there is a theorem in science that says that action and reaction is equal and opposite. What you impute is what outputs. Do you see any reason, Mr. Speaker, of this be discussed or be debated? The Constitution is there. What is wrong with us? Our major problem in this country is religion. We are not godly. But some lawmakers think otherwise, arguing that the decision was well thought out by the ministry before proposing it. This group of NGOs are there to stand for the rights of the citizens of Nigeria. So what am I saying in essence? I am saying that it is our responsibility or the responsibility of school owners, proprietors, proprietors to make sure that the right policies are implemented in their schools. Mr. Speaker, I am not alien to this policy. I stand here to be corrected. There is nowhere in that policy where it says that a Christian student should be taught Islamic unless you table before this. The, 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 there is a policy already. It's only it will start, implementation will start in September. The motion was debated passionately by lawmakers. But at the end, it was agreed that the decision completely negates the principle of constitution as amendments were made to prayers in line with the provision of the constitution which guarantee freedom of religion of every citizen. The House, while adopting prayer one that makes civic education optional for SSCE examinations, declared that religious studies in schools should be in accordance with the spirit of the constitution. Emmanuel Higine, PTV News.